Randy Robinson. Welcome to Life Today TV, a special digital edition. I'm here with Cindy Feasel, who uh, I guess you could call her um, a football widow. Unfortunately, her husband Grant Feasel played in the NFL professionally for several years, played center, um, which means he took a beating on his head. And um, he was one of the early uh, people to, to be uh, impacted by what we now call CTE. So we're going to talk about that a bit. Thank you for being here. Sure. Thank um, you for having me. Sorry it's under these circumstances. Me too. But, you know, I, I confess, as a football fan, with all the, the penalties now, uh, targeting in college, you know, um, and protecting the quarterback. As a fan, sometimes you go, come on, let them play, let them play, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a, yes. I heard someone say that it's not a contact sport, it's a collision sport. Yes. But there's a human side that, as a fan, we often forget that takes a toll. Yes. So what's sort of your, what's sort of your take on, on football as a sport? Um, well, I didn't realize that when Grant and I were married that the head-to-head -head collisions every day were taking a toll on his well-being. Yeah, I think most people didn't. No, that, so, yeah. we didn't. And um, had no idea that there would be lifetime effects from that. And Grant was not only a center, but he also did all of the extra points and field goals. So he was just always on the field, and you know, and, and practicing. Yeah, centers, yeah. Are, centers are rough A position. rough position. Yeah. And um, so, in my opinion, football, I can't watch it anymore mm, I because I don't have a husband anymore. Mm. My kids don't have a dad. Somebody doesn't have a son. Somebody doesn't have a brother. And so um, it's a personal thing for me. It's, uh, I've been a football fan my whole life. Mm -hmm. It's so hard not to want to get excited about a game. But when I really look at the human side of it and I see that what happened to Grant and what's going to happen to so many more, because I think this is just the tip of the iceberg of what's going to happen in the future, because I think there's going to be more and more people diagnosed. What, 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 what do we do? I mean, the, in college and pro, all, all levels of football, they've taken a lot of steps to try to yes. to get rid of the head-to-head -head mm -hmm. collisions, mm -hmm. but you can't still get rid of it. all of them I know. And, and still have the game. I mean, wow. it, it makes it very difficult. What, what do we do? Well, I'm just saying that I didn't have any clue what the brain did until after Grant died and I started researching CTE. Dr. Amen, Dr. Daniel Amen, who wrote the afterwords to my book, he explains the brain as being as soft as butter. Well, gee, I didn't know that mm. because um, I don't think there's a helmet in the world that can protect butter. Mm. And so I don't care if it costs, you know, $1,400 or $5,000. I don't think it can protect the brain. So for me, because I'm an advocate now for concussions and brain injuries, right. I'm going to have to say, in my opinion, I don't think anyone should play football. I know that's terrible, and it's a no, big yeah. money thing, yeah. and I know that it's probably, especially in Texas, it's not going to make people happy to hear that. Yeah, but like you said to me, what price do you put on a human exactly. life? Exactly. Yeah, you, you know? have to. you have to put a... You have to realize that they're human beings. And I think it's interesting now that when I think back on being married to Grant and all the aches and pains that he had, thinking that he was using his body physically to perform at the level that he performed and all the rest of these people do. And yes, they're making millions and millions of dollars, but what difference does it make if you can't enjoy it in the end? And I know that everybody's not going to get CTE. I understand that. But how do you know? Yeah, I don't know that we... And how would you know what hit it was that mm -hmm. caused it or how many um, concussions it, it takes to get it? I don't think we know that yet. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist, but I know what it did to me and our family. So in your opinion, the risk is not worth the reward? No, because I loved my husband yeah. <laughs> and I lost him years prior not, it, it didn't just happen at the end. I mean, Grant became an addict early on in our marriage but to comfort himself from the pain that I believe now was from CTE. Yeah, well, and they, <clears throat> they didn't know that until the autopsy, right? No, yeah. no, had no idea until the autopsy. Do you, uh, do you think there is a way to maybe prevent it from happening as much or as bad and 
then to treat it when it is discovered. I mean, is there is there a path forward where we still have football? I know, and that's I think what everybody's wanting. Yeah. And I did read just today that there is a company that's trying to um, find an imaging so that their brains can be imaged so that they would know prior to death that they were um, having the symptoms. And I do know that there are preventatives as far as you know supplements and just a healthy lifestyle and sure. watching not having an addiction grant died of cirrhosis of the liver so mm -hmm. that's what was on his death certificate so he he definitely had a drinking problem mm -hmm. but i think that the substance abuse masked the cte and yeah. you know helped him just get through the day drinking and taking pills so well um, and the cte <clears throat> created a person that was not the person you married. Oh, yes, because the CTE symptoms, as I found out after Grant died and started pouring over information about CTE, mm -hmm. I looked on all websites, but I specifically went to the Mayo Clinic website, and they do a lot of preventative things, as well as most other big hospitals now. Um, but I was shocked when I saw all of the signs of CTE and realized it was in a natural progression of what I had written in our journals mm -hmm. over the years, in my journals you over the years. It, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. because I did get into Christian therapy and my therapist had recommended that I start journaling. So I was, it was like an aha moment almost mm -hmm. for me when I started thinking about how the decline of Grant had happened. Are you running into other situations where maybe you're able to catch earlier, you're, you're, other women are seeing the signs in their football husbands well, and you're able to intervene? I think that it's hard to admit. I do. Um, I think it's hard for people to uh, want to think that that's what they've got. Sure. <laughs> and so um, I've not really had anyone come to me and personally said, you know, I think that my husband might have CTE. I bet you will. I think I will. The more television media yes, you and do, the, yeah. and. A lot of my friends that we play football with have reached out to me and said, you know, they're going to get the book. And, and I'm interested in, in their feedback once they read what I went through, yeah. wondering if we've had some similar things yeah. happen. Yeah. So I'm praying that my book can be used as a, as a tool for people to look at and say, hmm, that's been happening in my yeah. family. Maybe intervene before it's too yes. late. Yes. Yeah. And the other thing is, is I don't think it necessarily has to be somebody that's played in the NFL. I think that if you played college football, and I know that, you know, Grant played football from the time he was eight. Yeah. So we, you know, it's an accumulation of, yeah. of years. So I don't think it necessarily has to be. Are they seeing it in other sports as much, do you know? Um, they've mentioned that soccer and uh, hockey. Yeah, hockey would be uh, the obvious Wrestling, one. boxing, you know, all oh, of the things yeah, where you could yeah. be getting a punch to the head for sure. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. interesting. Yes. You would think hockey would, I'm a big hockey fan, yeah. so I'm a little partial. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you would think it would be, but I, I don't know that they have the head-to-head -head so much. I uh, hitting the ice the would be the problem. Yes, and I do know, um, I'm a part of a group called Save Your Brain, which is awesome, and it's mainly women because it's moms that have lost sure. children and um, also wives that have lost spouses. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very um, excited to be a part of that group. But anybody can get on their website and start looking at articles that are being posted every day what or on Facebook. It's saveyourbrain.com. And well, .org. it's that. Um, we'll find um, it. We'll yeah, put it on the screen. Yeah, and we'll, you know we'll what? I also think it's Save Your Brain um, as far as Facebook goes. Okay. And um, it's an awesome resource where. The, Continually, they're putting out websites. I mean, excuse yeah. me, not websites, articles. but they're putting out articles yeah. that talk about sports yeah. and not just football. Yeah. So um, it's uh, been interesting to me to be a part of that group and see that it's not all mm -hmm. grown men, that these are young children, some of them, that are already, yeah. you know, are having issues or they're dead. Mm -hmm. Um, not worth it. No. Not and again, Dr. Daniel Amen has done a lot of studies on children and athletes, and he talks about that in the afterword of my, my book, but he also has a lot of brain clinics across the country that mm -hmm. are doing a lot of studies. And I think that if Grant were still living, and I knew what I know now from what Dr. Amen wrote, I would want to get him to one of those clinics yeah. and say, yeah. I know you can't cure him, but at least look at what his brain looks like and tell us something that we could do, yeah. help us sure. some way. I mean, we didn't have any resources, none. Yeah. And so... Um, 
I just hope that people will get somewhere. And also Dr. Amalu that the concussion movie was about, mm -hmm. he has a brain institute that's, um, okay, let me think, Protect Your Brain, excuse me, it's at Protect Your Brain. And uh, he does tons of information and yeah. studies on yeah. young athletes and, and professional athletes. And so he would be a go-to place for mm -hmm. sure. The, the Brain Injury Research Institute. Great. Yes. We'll put it on the screen. <laughs> and make it right. Well, so and, anyway, but those are definitely places that I, if I had a child that was having any kind of symptoms yeah. or if I had a spouse that was having symptoms, I would want to get them to one of those places for sure. Well, and you have given uh, the world a good resource Thank um, you. in your book. It's called After the Cheering Stops. It's available now. And uh, your website that well, by the time yes. this interview is out we there will, will be up is yes. what? It's going to be Cindy Feasel. CindyFeasel.com. Yes. All right, and so. it will direct you to places. I think it will be after the cheeringstops.com as well. So okay. you can just self-direct. So. Very good. And I also have a Facebook page okay. that I would love for people to go to because I'm planning on putting something on there every single day Okay. and uh, some sort of information. Yeah. So at least just some sort of resource again. Well, and people might want to start asking you questions. Yes. You know, especially yes. after they're People have already started asking they, questions, yeah, and it makes me thrilled because yeah. um, it makes me feel like that I'm doing something. And uh, I think that I could have stayed depressed and sad about everything because um, I lost a lot yeah. with this. But um, it was time for me to get up and do something and thank goodness I mean this has been a supernatural path all the way with my book and Mike Yorkie who is a fabulous Christian writer helping me and just my whole path in writing the book has just been a complete supernatural God thing and so that within itself is just a huge testimony for me and so that's why I know without a doubt that um, Grant saying please do this for yeah. me tell yeah. people and the most beautiful part of it all is is that he's not in pain anymore he's been set free hallelujah yes <laughs> well, he's living with Jesus now God bless you because that's tough that's not what we would no. ever want for you no um, and if we can go back and, and change it, we certainly would. But, you know, God's given you a lot of grace, I can tell. Yes. You're reaching out and helping other people, and that's that's huge. Yes. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, do check out the book, and you can see more of Cindy on our program. You can see that online at lifetoday.org. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button because we want to let you know about all the great videos from Life Today.